How's it going everybody? Welcome back, you're with Dad Boy Basil. If you're new, hello, how are you? And here, we're playing Star Citizen. More importantly, Star Citizen 2.6, long awaited. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a tour of the Aegis Retaliator. Now they fix a lot of things with 2.6, namely, if you recognize it already, if you've already seen what the Retaliator did prior to 2.6, the lovely cockpit flicker has now gone, which is lovely, and there are very few flickering issues and no clip issues. So as you can see, the exterior, exterior is the same as normal, absolutely beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight inside and I'll show you guys through. So as you can see, we've got the lovely strobe lights, markers. We'll come in through here, because unfortunately, they, because I have the gravity versus no gravity, coming up through the um, elevators is still a bit of an issue. So we'll start here. So we're in the middle of the ship. Here we have torpedo bays. This door opens obviously, so I can imagine you can go in Someone will come in, maintain them, check to make sure they're up to standard. We've got the secondary ones up there, loaded on top, ready to go. Once you've come out of there, you can go around here into this bay here, and we have the lockers, obviously for storing things. A toilet, which thankfully isn't as square as the others, like God's sake. A nice sink, little first aid box, and then we have a nice sleek looking shower, which I, I, I kind of like. So we'll go from there and we'll actually head to the back now. So what we've got there is other than the two elevators, We'll come over here. I'm not sure what this does yet. It might be to control something elsewhere. But we've got more lockers here. But the most important thing is, is if we come in here, we've got our secondary torpedo bays, but here's the fun part. We've got the engineer station. And now we have power. Unlike before where someone had to be in the cockpit flying the ship for this to have power, you now have given power to it now. So here we can adjust all this now. So say if you're just gonna go on a solo mission just to transport the ship, you can set all this to shields. Go to components here, you can see the powers for everything. Now this stuff here, you actually have to have someone in the ship to control these ones. The other one will just override once you start flying. In the missile bays here, we just have the name of the load, payload type, lock on, size and arm the missile to disarm an arm obviously. Weapons, we have name, status, group, type, ammo charge and heat level. So as you can see, they've added a nice amount of things now. You can even adjust the shields. So we want, oh, you'd want more over here, you'd want more over there, but obviously this doesn't want to change yet because you have to have someone in there, unfortunately. But as you can see, change the shield allocation to change the power assigned to recharge rates of the various shield faces on the ship. So if you were taking heavy fire from one side, you'd be adjusting it to accommodate for that. So as you can see, thankfully now we have those working. So now what we'll do is we'll head out here, past the torpedo bays. Now, straight down here, in here, we have a turret. Down here, we have another turret that's in the roof though. So we've got one on both sides there. So if we go over here, run past this one, you will see that over here, we've got it up there. Now, we'll head to the front of the ship and I'll show you guys what's going on up there. So that's this door here. This will just take us around the lovely display window of the torpedoes. As you can see, they just look beautiful in there. Now, one thing they've gotten rid of in 2.6 is the godforsaken used to use a ladder. You can now just climb up it by walking into it. So we have another turret here, and then go through here, we've got two gun racks each side, and we've got the bays, which I imagine would double up as escape pods. Not 100% sure on that yet, because they've got oxygen supply and everything. If we go in here and we jump into the turret, you'll see that one thing they've added as well is the turrets actually work now, which to me is fantastic. So as you can see, we can come in here with no one piloting the ship and be given access to the guns. So isn't that just great? So now you can defend yourself while parked up, which is a good thing because before someone had to be flying for this to be given any power whatsoever. So now what we'll do is we'll head down and we will travel to the cockpit. So as you can see, just all the ducting and wiring just looks beautiful. We'll just walk up to the ladder, it'll automatically put us in. Here we have a second, oh, this is the fifth turret actually. This one's on the bottom of the front. And then we'll head over here and we will go into the pilot seat. So we'll get in now. Thankfully you can now fly the ship without the horrible freaking flicker. But here you can see we've got, that's for the torpedoes again. Over here we've got boost fuel, throttle, quantum fuel, and our velocity. Over here we've got our weapons chart. Over here we've got throttle and power priority. Weapons, shield, thrusters, targeting screen to show the thing we're currently locked onto. Radar, again, another targeting screen, and then here we have the shield. So as you can see, nice shield screen, nice monitoring screen, and quite good field of view. 
I'll have a look at the outside of the ship. As you can see, the ship just looks absolutely beautiful as normal. She's not big. She's not small. She's fucking huge. So as you can see, this thing rolling into Port Olisar or past Crusader or even into Grim Hex, this thing's going to be really intimidating. And if we open the bay doors, you will see the lovely torpedoes come out. And is that just not a sight to see? And they are some big, big bombs, boys. As you can see, though, we can close them up. The landing gear, which I personally love, is the thrusters. As you can see, they reroute to allow for obviously landing in areas with high gravity or gravity at all. But as you can see, the ship is just very aesthetically pleasing and it's just lovely to fly. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe for more content. Leave us down a comment if you'd like me to review other ships or show you a tour of them. I've got a Herald one coming in soon. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.